it never fails. Right after I produce a video about a new piece of gear, another manufacturer reaches out to me about a new piece of gear, and I, when I try it out, I get excited about the improvements I see in the market. And this stands true for a piece of gear that I'm going to talk to you about today. Stay with me, and I'll show you what I mean. Today I'm excited to introduce to you the latest piece of hardware from a new name in the Mesh-tastic world. That is Seed Studio. And I'm talking about the Seed Studio T1000E. It's a rugged and reliable Mesh-tastic radio designed to keep you connected when it matters most. This compact device is built for off-grid and emergency use. It's lightweight, it's durable, and it's packed with features that make it an essential tool for anyone serious about disaster preparedness. Now today I want to tell you my top five reasons why I like this radio. Number one, long range communication. You see it uses LoRa technology to send messages in open terrain and even further with mesh networking. The Seed Studio T1000E using LoRa uh, allows it to transmit messages over an impressive distance without any kind of cell phone service, Wi-Fi or even satellites. Now in open terrain, it can maybe reach up to about nine miles line of sight. And in urban or forested environments, the range varies depending on obstacles. One of the biggest advantages is that the range isn't limited to a single device to device link. Because you see with mesh networking, each device can relay the messages to others, extending coverage even further. If you have multiple T1000E units or other mesh radios, Deployed in an area, messages can hop between devices until they reach their final destination. That makes this an ideal tool for search and rescue teams, preppers, and off-grid groups, or even families at the music festival. For disaster scenarios where cell phone networks are unreliable or completely down, this level of range and connectivity ensures the critical messages can still be sent and received even when traditional communication systems fail. Each device acts as a relay extending that coverage and ensuring messages get through even in difficult environments. One of the more powerful features of this uh, T1000E is the mesh networking ability. Unlike traditional walkie-talkies or FRS radios that require device-to-device -device communication, the T1000E can simply relay messages through multiple devices, significantly extending the communication range, allowing them to hop from one to another. So each, each one acts as a node in the network. When a message is sent, if the recipient is out of direct range, the messages hop from one device to another until it reaches its destination. This means that more devices in the network, the larger the coverage area becomes. This is important because with extended range without infrastructure, unlike repeaters or cell towers, the mesh network forms automatically and dynamically. As long as there are active nodes within range, messages can keep traveling. If parts of the network goes down, like a device running out of power, the system reroutes messages through other available nodes, keeping communication alive. It's great for groups, whether you're coordinating a team during a disaster, organizing an off-grid hiking trip, or even setting up a survival communications network. Everyone stays connected, even if they're spread out. Now, because mesh networking is decentralized and encrypted, there's no single point of failure, making it an incredibly reliable tool for disaster preparedness, emergency response, or even off-grid operations. My third favorite feature of this is one of the biggest advantages I see of, of having a Seed Studio T1000E is its low power consumption. That makes this uh, an excellent choice for off-grid and emergency scenarios where energy resources are limited or even maybe not existent. Unlike traditional communication devices that require constant power or frequent battery replacements, the T1000E is designed for efficient and long-term operation. A favorite thing for me, and a, a lot of radios are going this way, it has USB charging for convenience. The device charges via USB, which is now standard for many modern electronics. LoRa signals require significantly less energy compared to other wireless communication methods. 
allowing this device to stay operational for extended periods of, on a single charge. Now, when not actively transmitting the T1000E can conserve power by entering a low power state, further extending its battery life if you want to enable that. There's no need for cellular or satellite connectivity. Since it doesn't rely on cell towers or satellite, there's no need for energy draining or signal boosting there. For long-term deployments, pairing a T1000E with a small solar panel and a USB power bank creates a self-sustaining communication setup. You throw that uh, solar panel, let's say you could do a compact 10 to 20 watt solar panel and, and charge that power bank during the day. And at night you could run it off here, charge this. this. You know what? I'm getting about three to four days on a charge already. So charging, you can even go with a larger power bank, you can say like a 10,000 milliamp or more. Uh, man, that T1000E can be recharged multiple times before ever needing direct sunlight again. This is ideal for like remote operations, whether you're in the wilderness, responding to a disaster, or setting up a long-term survival camp. Solar charging eliminates the need for disposable batteries or grid power. One less thing to have to worry about. This important in emergency situation, access to the electricity may not even be reliable or non-existing. Having a communication device that can operate for days or even weeks with just a solar panel and a battery pack means that you're not dependent on failing infrastructure. Now, combine this uh, low power usage and the USB charging and, the comp and its solar compatibility. The T1000E is one of the most sustainable and reliable communication tools for off-grid and disaster preparedness. All right, we've made it to my fourth favorite feature of the new radio. It's its GPS tracking and location sharing. One of the standout features of the Seed Studio T1000E is its GPS tracking and location sharing capabilities, which integrates seamlessly with the MeshTastic app. This feature makes an essential tool for team coordination, off-grid navigation, and emergency response. Each T1000E device has a built-in GPS, allowing it to determine and share its location. When paired with the MeshTastic app on a smartphone, users can see real-time locations of other devices within the network. This information can be shared automatically at set intervals or manually if you want to push it and make it force a position. This is perfect for hiking, search and rescue operations, and disaster response team. Everyone knows each other's positions without needing cell service. This ensures faster response times in emergencies by allowing team members to navigate directly to those in need. Also, for dis emergency situations and disaster preparedness, if a team member is lost or injured, their last known location remains visible on the MeshTastic network allowing rescuers to find them. Not relying on Wi-Fi or cellular networks make it a lifeline in disaster zones or remote areas. You can also use this in off-grid navigation adventure use. It's ideal for hikers, campers, and overlanders who, who need to keep track of their group's movement without cell service. This ensures that if someone strays too far, they can be guided back to safety. A T-1000E can also be set up as a stationary base node to track and relay locations of mobile users. Using the mesh network, location data can hop through multiple devices to reach someone out of direct range. This means if two users are too far apart, their locations can still be relayed through other nodes in the network. In a crisis where infrastructure is down, knowing where people are located can be the difference between life and death. The T1000E ensures that even without a phone network or internet, critical location data can still be shared and access keeping teams connected. All right, we've made it to my fifth feature I love about this. It's rugged and lightweight design. You see, the Seed Studio T1000E is built to be durable, portable, and reliable for disaster preparedness, off-grid adventures, and emergency communications. It's designed to withstand the harsh environments while remaining lightweight and easy to carry. It's small and light enough to fit in your pocket, uh, clip it onto your backpack, or attach a gear using a lanyard. A great option for hikers, preppers, and first responders who need reliable communications without carrying extra bulk. It's built with a tough enclosure that can handle minor drops, bumps, and everyday wear. 
This is perfect for outdoor survivalists and emergency responders and remote workers who operate in unpredictable conditions. I, I, for, I almost forgot to tell you, it's IP65 water and dust resistant as well. It's fully protected against dust and resistant to rain and light moisture. This is reliable for off-grid and emergency use, something else you don't have to even worry about in those challenging weather conditions. There's no unnecessary buttons or complex settings. It's easy to operate even in stressful situations. A built-in rechargeable battery means no need for swapping out AA or AAAs, making it more reliable in emergencies. It can be clipped to a backpack or stored in a small pouch for easy access. Lightweight enough to be carried uh, all day without any adding any strain to your gear or anything like that. Reliability is key in a survival situation. Having a device that can handle real-world conditions ensures you stay connected when it matters. Whether you're in a natural disaster, backcountry hike, or remote worksite, the T-1000Es are rugged, they're lightweight design, this makes it a dependable tool for emergency communications. We're down to my bonus feature. It has a built-in temperature sensor. The Seed Studio T1000E comes with a built-in temperature sensor, adding another layer of situational awareness for off-grid communications. Basically, what it's doing is the device continuously monitors the ambient temperature and reports it through the Mesh app. Users can view real-time temperature data from their own device or from other nodes in the Mesh network. The data can be used for useful for like uh, environmental monitoring, helping teams track changing conditions in remote or disaster areas. Knowing the temperature can help campers, hikers, and preppers prepare for extreme weather conditions. With that feature in mind, you could even, uh, with its mesh capabilities, you could add a T1000E, uh, say to a remote fixed location to track temperature trends over time. Provides valuable weather and environmental data to a group if you need to. You can, uh, multiple units across wide area can operate a distributed temperature monitoring network useful for community preparedness and remote operations. Now, by including a temperature sensor, the T1000E goes beyond just communications. Now it's making a versatile tool for anyone operating for off-grid or in any kind of emergency situation. So there you have it. That's my five features I like about it, plus the bonus. And if you want one of these, Go down below in the description and click the link that I've left for you. That'll take you right to their shop. Also, when you're on the shop, uh, I noticed this on when I got mine. There is a U.S. Uh, an option to select what warehouse you want it to come from. You can select from China or you can select from uh, U.S. Check check both of them. The U.S. may be quicker unless it's back ordered. They're pretty hot right now. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna. Keep producing content that uh, is helpful for off-grid communications, how to help communicate you and your family in, in and before and after disasters. Our slogan here is get information and give information. And that's what we're doing today with the T-1000E. Thank you guys for following along.